Nimbarka is an Indian philosopher of 12th century CE, known for propagating the Vaishnava theology of Dvaitadvaita Advaita or dualistic non-dualism. It is also known as Beta Beta, Beta Abeda philosophy. According to his eponymous tradition, the Nimbarka Sampradaya, Sri Nimbarkacharya appeared in the year 3096 BCE, when the grandson of Arjuna was on the throne. Contrarily, scholars headed by Professor Roma Bose theorize he lived in the 13th century, on the presupposition that Sri Nimbarkacharya was the author of the work Madhvamukamardana. This has been proven to be an erroneous attribution. Bhandarkar has placed him after Ramanuja, suggesting 1162 AD as the date of his demise. S. N. Dasgupta dated Nimbarka to around middle of 14th century. On the other hand, S. A. A. Rizvi assigns a date of c. 1130 to 1200 AD. Current scholarship has pointed out that in Bandarkar's own work, it is clearly stated that this was an approximation based on an extremely flimsy calculation. Yet most scholars chose to honor his suggested date, even until modern times. The latest scholarship has demonstrated with a high degree of clarity that Nimbarka and his immediate disciple Srinivasa flourished well before Ramanuja, and that Srinivasa was a contemporary, or just after Sankracharya. According to tradition, Nimbarka was born in Vaidaryapatanam, the present day Mungi village, Pathan in East Maharashtra. His parents were Aruna R.C. and Jandi Devi. Together, they migrated to Mathura and settled at what is now known as Nimbagrama Nimgayan, situated between Barsana and Gavardhan. Philosophy Nimbarka's philosophical position is known as Dvaita duality and non-duality at the same time or dualistic non-dualism. The categories of existence, according to him, are three, i.e., CIT, ACIT, and ISVARA. CIT and ACIT are different from ISVARA, in the sense that they have attributes and capacities, which are different from those of ISVARA. ISVARA is independent and exists by himself, while CIT and ACIT have existence dependent upon him. At the same time CIT and ACIT are not different from Isvara, because they cannot exist independently of him. Difference means a kind of existence which is separate but dependent, para tantra sata bhava while non-difference means impossibility of independent existence svatantra sata bhava. Thus Nimbarka equally emphasizes both difference and non-difference, as against Ramanuja, who makes difference subordinate to non-difference, inasmuch as, for him CIT and ACIT do not exist separately from Brahman, but its body or attributes. Thus, according to Nimbarka, the relation between Brahman, on the one hand, and the souls CIT and universe ACIT on the other, is a relation of natural difference non-difference svabhavika beta beta, just like between snake and coil, or between sun and its rays. Just as the coil is nothing but the snake, yet different from it, just as the different kinds of stones, though nothing but earth, are yet different from it, so the souls and the universe, though nothing but Brahman Brahmatmaka, are different from him because of their own peculiar natures and attributes. Thus, according to Nimbarka, there are three equally real and co-eternal realities, viz. Brahman, the CIT and the ACIT. Brahman is the controller nayantar, the CIT the enjoyer bhoktr, and the ACIT the object enjoyed bogya. Nimbarka accepts Puranamavada to explain the cause of animate and inanimate world, which he says exist in a subtle form in the various capacities saktis, which belong to Brahman in its natural condition. Brahman is the material cause of the universe in the sense that Brahman brings the subtle rudiments into the gross form by manifesting these capacities. For Nimbarka the highest object of worship is Krishna and his consort Radha, attended by thousands of gopis, or cowherdesses, of the celestial Vrindavan. Devotion according to Nimbarka, consists in prapati, or self-surrender. Topic. Five sadhanas 
Sri Nimbarka refers to five methods to salvation. Topic: <laughs> Karma ritual action. Performed conscientiously in a proper spirit, with one's varna caste and asrama phase of life, thereby giving rise to knowledge which is a means to salvation. <inaudible> Vidya Not as a subordinate factor of karma but also not as an independent means for everyone, only for those inclined to spending vast lengths of time in scriptural study and reflection on deeper meanings. <laughs> Upasana or dhyana meditation. It is of three types. First is meditation on the Lord as one's self, i.e. meditation on the Lord as the inner controller of the sentient. Second is meditation on the Lord as the inner controller of the non-sentient. Final one is meditation on Lord Himself, as different from the sentient and non-sentient. This is again not an independent means to salvation for all, as only those qualified to perform the upasana with yajnapavitam can perform this sadhana. Prapati surrender to the Lord, devotion Devotion and self-surrender to God as Sri Radha Krsna. This method of attaining salvation, known as Prapati Sadhana, contains elements of all the other means, and is most importantly, available to all. Men, women, foreigners, all classes and castes or non-castes are permitted to seek liberation through this, the most important sadhana. It is referred to as sadhana or apara, bhakti, devotion through regulations. This in turn leads to para bhakti, the highest devotion characterized by Madhurya rasa, the sweet emotions of devotion experienced by those perfected in sadhana bhakti. Guru Pasati Devotion and self surrender to Guru. Best realized as a part in Prapati, and not as an independent means, although it can be so. Sri Nimbarka made the Basya commentary in which Allah the words of the verses are used, in contradistinction to Atika, which is a more free commentary of the Brahmasutra on his divided Veda Vedanta principle of dualism non-dualism in his famous book, Vedanta Parijata Saurapa. Topic the disciplic tradition today upon reaching the leader Swami Haravyasa Devakarya c. 1470-1540 CE, the 35th leader, the tradition was reformed. He anointed twelve of his senior disciples to lead missions throughout the land. The most famous are Swami Parasarama Devakarya c. 1525-1610 CE and Swami Svaparama Devakarya Florida, 16th century. Swami Parasarama Devakarya was anointed as the leader of the entire movement. He was given the Salagrama deity known as Sri Sarvasvara that was handed down through time it is believed from Nimbarka himself. The 48th and current leader of the entire Nimbarka Sampradaya is H.D.H. Jagadguru Nimbarkayakarya Swami Sri Radhasarvasvara Sarana Devakarya, known in reverence as Sri Sriji Maharaja by his followers. He is based in Nimbarka Tirtha Rajasthan, India. He is the current leader of the Sampradaya, who worships the Salagrama deity known as Sri Sarvasvara. His followers are mainly in Rajasthan and Vrindavana, Mathura. He established the Mandir at the birth site of Sri Nimbarkayakarya in Mungi village, Pathan, Maharashtra in 2005. In addition, he oversees the maintenance of thousands of temples, hundreds of monasteries, schools, hospitals, orphanages, cow shelters, environmental projects, memorial shrines, etc., and arranges various scholarly conventions, religious conferences, medical camps and outreach, etc. Swami Svaparama Devakarya Florida, 16th century CE, was born in Budhia village, outside Jagadri and Yamunanagar near Kurukshetra in modern Haryana, India. 
He established over 52 temples in Punjab, Haryana, and Vraja during his lifetime. His current followers are found mostly in Vrindavana, Haryana, Punjab, Bengal, Rajasthan, Orissa, Assam, Sikkim, Bihar, other regions in Uttar Pradesh, and Maharashtra, also in significant numbers in Nepal. In his sub lineage, there are many branches. Notable saints of this sub-branch include the famous Saint Swami Shatir Chintamani Nagaji Maharaj, who started the Vraja Parikrama. This tradition has been continuously maintained over 528 years by the Acharyas of the Svaparama Dwara sub-lineage. In this same tradition Swami Sri Ramdas Kathiababa came to Vrindavan and made his first monastery there. This branch is currently led by Swami Ras Bihari Das Kathia Baba at Sri Kathia Baba Kastan, Sridham Vrindavan, India. This ashram is known as the Guru Gadi, or Seat of the Guru, of this sub-branch as a continuation of the lineage of Swami Ram Das Kathia Baba, Swami Santadas Kathia Baba and Swami Dhanajaya Das Kathia Babaji Maharaj. Swami Dhanajaya Das Kathia Babaji built several ashrams. The present Acharya Swami Ras Bihari Dasji Kathia Baba has constructed 20 new temples and monasteries in India and abroad. Another Acharya of this lineage is Swami Brindaban Bihari Das Mahanta Maharaj at Kathia Baba Ka Ashram, Shivala, Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh and Sukchar, 24 Parganas North, West Bengal, who has undertaken projects for orphans and aged persons, building schools and elderly care homes. He travels relentlessly to spread Nimbarka philosophy through world religion conferences held in US, UK, Sweden, Africa, Bangladesh and other different countries across the globe. The Sukchar Kathababar Ashram was originally established by Swami Dhanajadas Kathiababa and is presently headed by Swami Brindabanbaharidas Mahanta Maharaj. The famous teacher and leader Swami Haripriya Sarana Devakarya, founded the temple and monastery at Bihari G. Ka Bagicha, Vrindavana, sponsored by his disciple, the philanthropic Sri Hargulal Barawala and the Barawala Trust in the 19th century. The predecessor of the current successor was Swami Lalita Sarana Devakarya, who died in July 2005 at the age of 103. One of his other disciples is the world-renowned Swami Gopala Sarana Devakarya, who has founded the monastery and temple known as the Sri Golak Dham Ashram in New Delhi and Vrindavana. He has also helped ordinary Hindus who are not Vaisnava to establish temples overseas. Of note are the Glasgow Hindu Mandir, Scotland, UK, the Lakshmi Narayan Hindu Mandir, Bradford, UK, and the Valley Hindu Temple, Northridge, CA. He has also facilitated major festivals at the Hindu Sabha Mandir in Brampton, Canada. Another of the famous leaders was Sri Radhavalab Shuran Devacharya who presided at the Bhaijaraj Temple in Udaipur, Rajasthan. He is succeeded by Mahant Sri Mohansharan Ji. In Abu Road, Swami Sri Yugal Shuran Ji Brahmachari takes care of Sri Pat Narayan Dham, a wondrous centre worshipping an ancient deity of Lord Vishnu. He provides top-level Ayurvedic care and has thousands of patients visiting daily. The Mathila Kunj Ashram is operated by disciples in the tradition of Swami Sri Mukund Devacharya Florida, 16th century, another of Swami Sri Harivyas Devacharya's twelve main disciples. At Vamshi Vada, the site of austerities of Harivyasa's preceptor, Swami Sri Shribada, the branch of Swami Sri Uddhava Gamanda Devacharyaji has its headquarters. Swami Uddhava Gamanda Devacharyaji, another of the twelve disciples of Swami Sri Harivyasa Devacharya is of note for his establishment of the practice of Rasa Lila performances, which continue today and are performed by devotees initiated in other sects and even folk artists. His disciples are led by Swami Rup Kishad Devacharya based at Sri Chain Bihari Ji Kunj. 